Author's note, this video is my review of Batman vs. Superman Ultimate Edition, a re-review of Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice, directed by Zack Snyder and published by Warner Brothers and DC Comics, based on Batman by Bob Kane and Bill Finger, and Superman by Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster, starring Henry Cavill, Ben Affleck, Gal Gadot, Amy Adams, and Jesse Eisenberg as some Lex Luthor wannabe. Ultimate Edition is rated R. Tell me. Back during April of last year, I gave Batman vs Superman a disappointing review, citing a confusing story and not that many action scenes. Well, I watched the Ultimate Edition and I actually liked it. I didn't explain this during my previous review of Batman vs Superman, so I will finally talk about it. As the world questions Superman's morality, one Cape Crusader makes his quest to bring down the Man of Steel, but another wants to do more than just kill him. He wants to shame him. Unlike the theatrical version, the story made much more sense. Everything felt like it clicked into place. It didn't feel like leaves scattered in the wind. The additional scenes made the story much more solid than what I saw back in 2016. And that's ironically saying a lot. I mean, I was disappointed back then, but not this time, thankfully. When it comes to the Man of Steel, boy, did this movie enjoy putting him down and making him feel all depressed and all. Ridiculed by the press? Criticized for something he didn't even do and the fact that Lex Luthor wanted to bring him down with multiple frame-ups. I have not seen a sadder Superman since the Injustice series. But even with these improvements, I still have my issues. The first one being Lex Luthor. As much of a complete monster he is, he also sounded a lot like a psychopathic man-child. Though the Ultimate Edition did bring him down, he, the way he acted was still, still questionable at best. I know Jesse Eisenberg was trying, but still, I've seen better variations of this villain. I mean, he should have tried for the Joker if you ask me. And then there's the Batman. As I stated in my review of Tim Burton's Batman, I hated the idea of the Dark Knight taking a life. Even though he's done so in previous variations, it's still not right to see Batman kill just to stop evil. But other than that, I thought Ben Affleck did a decent job as the Cape Crusader. Though I still wish he had a bat credit card. Yeah, I actually went there. Well, here I am. Also, I wish there was more scenes of both the Dark Knight and the Man of Steel. As much as I enjoyed their scenes more of Bruce Wayne and Clark Kent, I prefer seeing their caped alter egos in action, which I felt we didn't get enough of. Call me crazy, but that's just a superhero fan in me. That, and I also wish there were some more funny moments. Why did you say that name? Finally, there are some dumb plot points, almost all of which take place at the climax of the film. Now, I can't point these out, but those who saw the original version will recognize them. In some ways, they did flesh those scenes out, but I just wish they did a better way of delivering these. And I still hate the Bat branding iron. Though I do admit the R rating felt a little bit subtle despite some nudity and some violent scenes. And yet, even with all these flaws, I enjoyed Batman vs Superman Ultimate Edition. It's a crying shame this version was not the theatrical version, because all those added scenes just made it much more clear and enjoyable. If you want to torture yourself on Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice, just get the Ultimate Edition, okay? At least it makes a lot of bat sense. By the way, a quick announcement. I'm thinking about reviewing The Man of Steel in 2018, and I'll explain why I did enjoy it in some ways. So stay tuned. I assume the only reason he's not wearing the Declaration of Independence as a cape is he thinks it's too on the nose. Shadow, you had to go and buy that Batmobile? Why not? After all, it's your favorite. Aw, oh, shut up.